really do be missing you Everything I do is for you And I really do adore you You're getting so big now And you're making me so proud Cause you are such a star And you know that you are So every single little moment I can't be there to hold your hand I need for you to know that I need for you to know that Anything should happen Anything should happen I will be making dinner together steamed fish in the oven um, curry goats white rice and rice and peas some plantain and some veg the reason for the two rice is because my son hates rice and peas so I always have to do two types of rice when I make rice and peas so yeah, that's what we're doing today, making Sunday dinner together, the kids and I. Got to teach them when they're young, you know, so they grow up and know how to do things for themselves, okay? So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. So, we're in the kitchen, me and the kitties. We're about to make curry goats and some fish. I'm going to season it up and put it in the oven. Um, Keanu is supposed to be over here starting to add seasoning to the fish, but he's over here messing around. Let's go, Keanu. Because you know, supposed to add? You gotta, if you come closer to the thing, I'll tell you what you need to add mm -hmm. on it. So, like, if you pick up the onion, you're gonna have to open it up, put it inside and on the outside, and then you do that to the next fish, not one big drop like you've been doing. Canada, yeah, no, that was only one fish. You need to do that to each other fish. Oh, you know what? Take a switch. Wash your hand, Canada. Mm. Yeah, we can turn this one cross me. Let me get some um, some okra and butter. Look in the oh, it's coming out. No more chocolate. Huh? I need Nah. Nah, I just don't want to do it that way. Right Where's the butter? Oh. Where's the um the pimento? Make sure I have enough water to steam. Then we put the foil on it. Did you say foil? The foil. Because sometimes my accent sometimes comes out a little strong. But yeah, you put the foil paper over it. Make sure you give it a little wrap. So it keeps in the steam because you know, you're going to do like a steam fish but in the oven. Curry little popping. Oh, you see that seasoning? You could see it sitting on there. <laughs> Our house, we have picky eaters, so some like plain white rice and some like rice and peas, so we have two pots. 
she's washing the one for the white rice right now and then we're gonna usually I use back peas but that's when I start cooking early in the day yeah using the canned one and my canned coconut that's in the fridge rub the right wash it like at least twice okay this is his first time making washing rice so I gotta tell him to wash it twice and use the strainer so we don't waste the rice because you're new to this. The professionals, we just turn it to the side, but because you're new, let's put it in the strainer so that, not the red one, so that it's um, not getting wasted. Let me rinse this off. Whenever you're ready, you can start your straining process. That's good, Keanu. You don't need to wash it anymore. And then wash it again after you drain that off. Excuse me, miss. Jesus. I'm trying to see, see his process here. Okay. All right, you don't have to do that because you're going to have to put it right back in the pot. To wash it again. Here, Keanu. how it's going when you first wash rice. You want the strainer, there's a lot of excess. Let's let's check on the, the curry goat part, please. Okay, y'all see that? It's looking good. You see that curry? Y'all see that curry? Yeah boy. All right, you can close that back up. All right. All right, Kenna, that's good. Just, just drain it off, and then we add the water to add in the butter and the salt. So for people who is not good with cooking rice, you can always use a rice cooker. And it's perfect for the sunny boy when you're teaching him how to make rice. So we don't need that in white rice. Just get the butter over there and a little salt, not butter, too much. The butter, the butter. And the butter she's washing the rice for the rice and peas right now. and then add more. I like to make the rice buttery. See? That's when you wash rice a few times, you don't need the strainer. Okay, no, I ain't getting mad. It's just simple facts. It's not nothing against Guys, you. he's so sensitive, it's ridiculous. You're still gonna spill a little, but you got better control of it when you've done it a few times. Right, Tish? Yeah. Let me see how the butter coming over here. All right, you can put that and tip a little oil because I feel like you gotta put butter on the list. The butter is on the list. Wow. is looking. So Taylor, yeah. you're gonna here you're gonna stir the peas into the thing and then we're gonna add huh? Oh sorry. I'm gonna stir the peas in 
Then we're going to add in some coconut milk. And this is a shorthand rice and peas, guys. If you come home from work and you're tired and you want some rice and peas, you know, instead of cooking the peas from scratch. Okay, Teja, it's not soup. I was just making... Take the coconut milk and put it in there. <laughs> Alright, that should be good. Um, Alright. Then we're going to add in some salt. And some... Some scallion. Did you put salt? Did you think you put enough? Dab a little bit more because I didn't see. Alright. Um... Scallion, thyme, and some pimento. Rinse it off. Get some pimento. And then get some scallion from the freezer. How much is it? Let me see. Let me see. Throw it a little bit more. Let me see. Yeah, that's good. Um. Yeah, it's Kellyan. Right there. Put it in the pot. You just need like one piece. This is a smaller pot. Watch your fish. Break off the tip, the bottom, and the top. Break it again in half because it's not going to be thing if you don't do it now and then rinse off the fork too uh, drop it in and yeah we added salt that 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 okay see guys so everything is in there we just gotta let it steam now let's check on the we're gonna add the cover in a second but we're gonna check on the curry goat again make sure the water is drying out and it looks good. Let's give it a quick stir. Yep, there's enough water in there still. Because it's still cooking. Okay. Now you can cover that back. And... We'll show you again soon. Thank you for being my extra hands. It's time to tip a little bit more water because this isn't cooked yet. Go ahead, Tish. Ooh, this fire is still too high. Okay, that's good. You gotta check on the fish in the oven, and somebody's hand swelled the rice. Something crazy because. It's already coming up out the pot. So 
to you guys when you're making this canned rice and peas. I don't even know why this plastic thing is here and not a wooden. Because I don't want it to fall off, but I don't want it to melt the plastic. Pass me that wooden, that little small wooden. All right, put it right there. Gotta be careful when you're doing this because that steam will kick up and burn the mess off your fingers. Why the fuck? Seems like it don't want to come up. It's not finished yet, but it's getting there. This is when you use the spoon. And make sure you get all the juices over the fish. See that guys? It's coming along nicely. That's what you want to see. You want to see that? You see that? That's the okra and the butter. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells amazing. Right, Anastasia? Yes. So, you know, fish don't really take too long to cook, but I'm going to do this and put it back for another 10 minutes, and then we're good to go. Good old steamed fish done in the oven. I'm going to find some paintings to eat with dinner. Everything else is done. Fish is done. White rice is done. We got her go. Her go to the back of the stove. Everything's done. That's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah.